Hi everybody, I am Dr. Sam Zaranovich. I'm a chiropractor and today I want to talk about trans folks and low-key, I kind of want to boast a little bit, no lie. So what I want to talk about about trans people and what I'm specifically boasting about today is the fact that I did a little bit of patient demographic number crunching today. I counted how many active patient files I have and I counted how many of those people are um, trans of some stripe. Uh, and I'm putting a big asterisk next to trans for this conversation. Um, <clears throat> different people have different definitions of what trans is, and so I'm going with the most general that I can, uh, which is inclusive of people who are trans, uh, transsexual, transgender, non-binary, gender non-conforming, gender queer, very broad. Um, and when I did that math, 20% uh, of my practice is uh, out about being trans with me, uh, which could mean that there are a few people more than that who haven't let me know about their history of with their body uh, and their relationship to gender. Um, but of the people who have told me uh, whether they are cis or trans, 20% uh, of my practice is trans. I've been actively working really hard to do outreach to trans communities and to make sure that my head game is right, that I'm I'm doing my work to unravel internalized transphobia and internalized misogyny and trans misogyny so that I can approach the people who I want to be helping who have body stuff that while I can't relate to it directly hmm I think I can help hmm. um, and the fact that my my population of, of trans patients is so high tells me that I think I'm on the right track um, that I don't have to be trans in order to get enough of the experience in order to be helpful so I'm just feeling really proud of myself and I wanted to share that today um, and talk just a tiny bit about how I think about trans uh, patients and trans bodies um, while they're under care uh, so that they can get the care that they need, get the results that they're looking for and feel me respecting and honoring their basic humanity and their sense of themselves. In the broadest sense, bodies are bodies, trauma is trauma. If you are a body and you have trauma, then I can help, broadly speaking. That said, trans trauma is different than car accident trauma. A lot of the stuff that I specialize in because of my own trauma history has to do with feeling alienated from the body, feeling betrayed by the body, and helping people resolve the trauma that has to do with a constant sense of not belonging, not fitting, of something being chronically wrong with me. Mm. Um, and that's the work that I love to do with people. Um, and it turns out that that's really compatible with many of the experiences of the trans folk that I've been working with. That a sense of alienation from the body and of a chronic sense of something wrong, something not fitting, of never feeling at home in the body and finding a way to feel at home in the body. That's what I love to do and I think that's what a lot of trans folk need. At least that's what they're, that's what they're telling me so far. Please correct me. Um, feeling at home in your body is such a privilege and such a blessing and for some of us we take it completely for granted and for some of us it is hard won. And so I just want to let you know that if you are trans or genderqueer or gender non-conforming in any way, or if your good friends or family members are, there are providers out here who know how to help, know how to listen to what the problems you're having actually are, and can offer solutions for resolving the, all the internalized garbage that our culture gives to us about how we're wrong for existing the way that we do in the bodies that we have or how our bodies are wrong for existing the way that they are, the way they came into the world, and that there is something that we can do about it. There is something we can do about it to feel more at home in our bodies and to feel like our bodies belong. So that's really it today. I just wanted to boast a little bit and to tell you that I um, I see you, I'm looking for you. If you're looking for me, I'm here for you. Um, please reach out and please tell your friends that there are trans aware and trans friendly providers available. Um, and I'm here to help. Have a good one.